Okay, so just heard about this thing called in video AI. I thought I'd give it a little go. So it's a video generation tool, text to not image video, text to video generation tool. But it's very different from everything you might have seen on the Runway ML in that it doesn't generate video as such. It collates stock images and generates a script and uses AI driven voice. But anyway, let's have a look. So I'm just going to sign in. So let's just sign in. So I'm just going to have to nip over to my email and you get a code. Let's cut and paste that in. And we're in. And you're presented with this screen. What do you want to generate? Do you want to generate YouTube Explainer, YouTube Short, Recent Video? You can select a workflow to help you. So YouTube Shorts, Explainer, Recent Events, Video. I've been chatting with a friend about creating some kids content. Um, so I'm going to do a YouTube Short. And I'm going to try creating a video about Animal Farm, right? Farm by George Orwell aimed at primary school age kids in the UK. Quite simple. You can pick your voice. Here I've got male or female. I'm going to go for a female and I'm going to go for, just because I am, a northern English voice. And I want it to show subtitles. So I'm just going to click continue, see what happens. So what this actually does is write the prompts for you. So create a YouTube short about Animal Farm by George Orwell, aimed at primary school age kids in the UK. Use a female Northern English voice. Show subtitles. You have got up, you have got up to three thousand characters you can put in this to generate your prompts. I've kept it quite simple, and I'm just going to click generate a video. Now this seems to be quite busy at the moment because it's queued so it's not actually doing anything yet and it's waiting for other people to do stuff so we'll just wait a bit until it does something else okay so number three in the queue here we go so now it's analyzed my prompt and it's having a think uh, still thinking um this is all in real time i'm not quitting anything out here so oh, it's come up with a title animal farm a mini adventure and now it's preparing so i imagine it's going looking through stock libraries should say that on the free plan you only get access to certain types of videos on the paid plan you get if anyone's familiar with it get access to iStock stock and things like that so it will do a lot more okay here we go so who am i aimed at primary school kids look and feel minimalist inspiring let's say inspiring and we're going to go for a YouTube short uh, view. We can pick Facebook or Instagram, but I'm going to do a YouTube short. I click continue. And uh, now we're back in the queue. So we're 50 in the queue. I'll just pause it there and see when we're actually doing something. Uh, just while we're waiting here, one thing I've noticed is you get these little notifications here. Uh, you get a license for the stock media used at export. I'm not sure how much that costs, but it um, be interesting to see that. Um, Anyway, we'll continue to wait with number 10. Here we go. Okay, so now it's analysing the video, creating ideas. I imagine it's a jump into some form of LLM to generate the scripts there. And then it will use some service, maybe 11 labs or something like that, to generate the voice. And then it'll be matching up iStock's library with this. Or should I say Shutterstock? They're all part of Getty Images, as far as I can tell, story blocks. So that's probably 11 labs synthesizing the voice, and they may well have their own. Not entirely sure. Synthesize the voice, transcribing. That's weird. So it's going to transcribe the voice based on the generated audio rather than use the script, I think. Adding media tracks. So I think this will probably be adding the stock video. So it'll be searching through, I imagine, tagged up content, or maybe it's AI tagged up content. For this, still going. Here we go. Okay, let's have a watch of this. Imagine a world where animals run the show. Welcome to Animal Farm by George Orwell. This isn't your typical farm tale. Oh no, it's a story packed with rebellion, power struggles, and promises of a better life. The animals, tired of their human farmer, decide to take control. Led by the pigs. They dream of a paradise where all animals are equal. 
But as the saying goes, some animals are more equal than others. Soon the dream becomes a nightmare. Power corrupts and friendships are tested. Animal Farm is a captivating tale that teaches us about leadership, fairness, and the importance of questioning authority. It's a must-read for every young mind. Remember folks, it's not just a story about animals, it's a story about us. Not bad, I do have to say. Not bad. Now there are a couple of other things I've seen here, you can edit it. So you can give it a command if you want to edit something. Can you put a title card at the start? Don't know if it'll do this. See what happens. Oh, I thought it's had a title at the start. Seems to understand that. I wonder if I'm going to have to wait for a decade for this to happen now. Someone once told me if you spin your mouse around like this, it speeds up the whole process. Or maybe it should go the same way as the buffering thing. I don't think it's true. But in my mind, it makes me feel like it's quicker. Stun it, stun it, stun it. Okay, let's try again. See what happens. Get ready, dear viewers, for an enchanting journey as we step into a world that is often unseen, yet teeming with life, mystery and a dash of adventure. Today, we take a pause from our busy lives and venture into the heart of nature. Welcome to Animal Farm, a mini-adventure. But before we start, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell for more exciting content. Now, let's gear up, put on our explorer hats and let the adventure begin. Uh, imagine a world... So it's ad actually added an entire scene at the beginning. But, oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Okay, so the other thing I noticed is that I can edit the script. So right at the beginning it says voiceover, so I don't really want that. I just want to delete that. So I'm going to delete that. When in chance and we step into a world that's often seen as mystery dash, and then today we take a pause from our, I'm just going to change this to busy lives. Busy lives in there. And then apply those changes and see if that changes the beginning. Yeah, so it's resynthesizing the voice because I've just typed stuff in. So that's what Descript does, or sorry, Descript does. So that's quite interesting. And then it's retranscribing it. Ah. And now it's changing the script. There we go, it's done it. Right then, let's have a listen. Get ready, dear viewers, for an enchanting journey as we step into a world that is often unseen, yet teeming with life, mystery and a dash of adventure. Today, we take a pause from our busy lives and venture into the heart of nature. I mean, I don't know if anyone would ever watch that, but it's pretty remarkable that it's managed to pull that together. And bear in mind, I'm not on a premium account. I'm just pulling their bog standard video, which should be their story blocks or video blocks service. I did notice under export, export project to a timeline. This seems to be experimental. It brings you up an editor. So there's an editor here. So this is obviously something they're thinking of. And again, feels a little bit like Descript. And I can drag through it, I can drag back. It's, it's actually pretty good. I can play, pause, go back to the beginning. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway, I can export it from here, apparently. If I click export, nothing happens right. So I'm just going to jump back into where I was before, and I'm just going to export the video. So I can export 1080 without an account. It's going to have the stop watermarks on it. And I can just have media branding. So if I continue to export this, Okay, now it's exporting. Look at that. Okay, so it seems to have finished exporting there, so I can download it, or I can share it. So I might just copy the link and share it somewhere. You can download it locally. It will have all the watermarks in, but I have to say, it's pretty incredible. It's right in the early days now, but give it a bit of time. I think this could be quite spectacular. Anyway, there you go. That's in video AI.